So this is super weird. This tree, this shirt or whatever it is, kind of bound up weird with that crazy handle staked into a tree and it looks like it's been there for a while, perhaps. And uh, Sarah thinks it might be witchcraft. Oh, look at this one. Nice big one. Let's see what this is. Is it a solar or is it some kind of an agaric? Oh, look at that. It's looking great. Oh, Old, yeah. But yeah. That is definitely a <laughs> king mushroom. Look we at that. Welcome to Utah Mushroom Hunter. I'm uh, here uh, up in the Wasatch Mountains in an area that I've shot a couple of my videos. This is probably going to be my last video of the season. I'm here with two good people. I got Kimberly and Sarah who are on the hunt with me and we're going to see if we can find some uh, late season mushrooms. We're probably, I, I'm going to be looking hopefully for some Sarcodon imbricatus and uh, some Bledisatilus. This are going to be our main target mushrooms but we'll probably find some others as well. Um, Hopefully it is late in the season, so I'm not, I can't guarantee for sure what we're going to find today, but uh, I still think that there's going to be mushrooms out, so we are excited to... Crossing our fingers. Let's do yes. it. <laughs> yes, hopefully we can find some good ones. Anyway, let's get hunting. All right, so let's look at this mushroom. Notice it's got a white cap here. I'm going to pull it up and let's see what it is. Okay, so look at that. That is absolutely 100% an agaric, and you got the brown gills there. So, let me, uh, Sarah, can you take that and just kind of scratch the surface of that? Maybe, the stem maybe, or the... Maybe break off the bottom. Let's just, to, yeah, go ahead and break off the bottom of that and see if there's any yellow staining in there at all. Mm, maybe there. Is that just the color? See? This is not going to be an amanite, even though it has a little bit of stuff at the bottom here. That's not going to be brown an amanite. gills. Yeah, it's got the brown gills. And uh, I'll let you take that one, but when you go home, do a spore print on it and mm -hmm. just make sure it has a, a brown spore print, and that should be a yummy edible. Interesting. Yeah, the Garricks are some of my favorite. So. I just found that last agaric right there, and Sarah pointed over and said, hey, look, there's one right here as well. So let's hope this is the same kind. Look at that. That is the same, that is the exact same type of mushroom. That's fun. You can see the whole root system there too. Yeah. That's cool. The whole root system, the mycelia and everything pulled up with that one. <laughs> But yeah, definitely an agaric. That's I fully expect that to have a brown spore print and to be a delicious agaric. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty buggy. But let's look at this one and see. The That's way you know yeah. Lactarius deliciosus mm -hmm. is, I mean, this might not be it, actually, because look at that bulbous stem. Interesting. But it stains green. And these don't look stained green. Yeah, even where it's been chewed or something. So, that's interesting. So, yeah, we're looking at these mushrooms that we just found, and, um... They're beautiful. Yeah, and I don't know this mushroom. Uh, Kimberly's saying she might, and she's looking at it trying to decide if it's... <laughs> the gills have been chewed off. <laughs> yeah. And, and tell me again what kind of mushroom you th think it I might be. I it might be a Lactarius deliciosus, but because they're peachy orange, and uh -huh. they... But their gills tend to run down, but I think it's dried out enough so the gills have pulled away. Uh -huh. But usually you know them because they stain green. And these, even when they get older without being bruised, they'll stain green. And there's no mm -hmm. green staining on this, and that makes me question it, hmm. what I'm thinking. Very pretty. But I found a bunch just a few days ago. So I know they're growing right now even when others are drying up. Yeah, well, that's interesting. And the mushroom experts will say it's not that delicious, but... Someone they have was. access to all the delicious ones. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It's in the name, though. Right. Yeah, this is one that I'm not too familiar with that I've, I've uh, seen and passed many times. So. But I guess now you know when everything else is quitting. This looks like giant packing peanuts. <laughs> all right. Well, let's find ourselves a bleed of okay. So this might be deceivingly, even though it's very small, like a phyllitis edulis, but it's if you turn it over 
and get close you can see it has a netting across the gill and, and so it's a cortinarius and those are not edible and the other way you can tell a cortinarius this one has the netting as well pretty little purple one is they also have rusty spores and you can always see the rusty spores on the stems yeah so, yeah not so edible, so don't eat beautiful. those pretty mushrooms though mm -hmm. i like the purple one yeah yeah I think Eric's are definitely out. This looks like it could be another one. Oh, nope. That is not an agaric. That's not one that I'm going to be interested in. So this is super weird. This tree, this shirt or whatever it is, kind of bound up weird with that crazy handle staked into a tree. And it looks like it's been there for a while, perhaps. And uh, Sarah thinks it might be witchcraft. <laughs> it's hard to say well, it for sure. It looks like in the circle of trees. <laughs> yeah, you know, it could be. That is just really weird. I'm not going to touch it. I don't want any curses on me. So notice here, Kimberly has a bag full of garbage she's been picking up. And she just saw this can and she's pick, she's picking that up too. And Get back to the forest. Yes. Don't throw garbage out <laughs> in the forest. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so we got something here. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. It is. It's another agaric. Yay. See those brown gills? You can see there's a little bit of yellowing, but it's not. It's it's more from the uh, climate. I don't think that's going to be from from uh, the chemical reaction you get. I'll have to split that open and check that. But yeah, there's another agaric. Yeah, it's a really pretty specimen. This one doesn't have a veil or a yeah, line. Yep, yeah, it must have fallen off because you can tell that it, it... It's got the brown spores. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, that should be a good agaric. You know, I'm scratching it. It's not I'm turning not, yellow yet. I'm not seeing the yellow. And see how this... In fact, it's turning a little reddish, which is... A good sign. A good sign. Yeah. And here's a lactarius with the green staining. Lactaria stiliciosis, usually peach colored with an orange stem, certainly orange when you cut it, and green staining. Oh, that's fun. Well, here's a Ramaria coral mushroom. This area I've seen lots of them in the past, and this is the first one we've seen today, though. Kimbri found some Pluterus pulmonarius. Look at that. They're oysters. Growing stacked. All of them coming out of the same stem, out of a log, the gills running down the stem. Yeah, those will be yummy. Nice find. <laughs> well, here's a fun turkey tail that I found. I'm going to have to look up the scientific name for it, but that's a really nice specimen. The best turkey tail specimen I found up here. If it actually is a turkey tail, it's, there's a few varieties that look similar to this, but it, I'm pretty sure this is a turkey tail. Well, look at this one. Nice big one. Let's see what this is. Is it a rosola or is it some kind of an agaric? Oh, look at that. Nice. That is an agaric. Super big one. Really beautiful. See how those gills are. The way those gills are. That's the way they get Garrick's luck. You can tell them apart from the uh, uh, all these other rosolas and so forth that we're seeing. They have their own look about that. That's probably a delicious agaric. And that's completely different. I thought it might be the same because they're close in proximity. But two very different mushrooms. That one we don't want. But this one, that is a gorgeous agaric. Okay, this is an agaricus. The gills are separated from the stem. They're brown and crowded. There's lots of them. And when he scratched it and it's staining reddish, so it's going to be a good one to eat, I think. Yeah, yeah that one should be delicious. It looks amazing. That amazing. is a fun one. That is a good <laughs> find. Amazing. Okay, so here we got something that looks like it could be a king. We haven't found a king all day with the temperatures 
Yeah, go ahead and pull it up. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's looking great. Oh Old, yeah. But yeah. That is definitely a king <laughs> mushroom. Look we at that. One. Yeah, it's it's a little bit aged, but it looks like it still be should be a good eater. Yay! I did I didn't think we we're gonna find one today. It's been so this difficult to find kings. Planet. But there's one. Nice. Very cool. Good job. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up for today. And what we've learned is that their mushrooms are all drying up. There's really not a ton out there anymore. Um, we found uh, in the past we would find uh, pounds and pounds and pounds of these bleedest atlas and some of the Sargodon imbricatus in this area. And, and uh, today there is just about nothing. We found this one bleedest atlas that uh, Sarah's holding here. That's the only Bolita Settlers we found today and we felt super lucky. We And we found some agarics. So we some really nice agarics. So those are super nice. Mm -hmm. So it's still a successful trip, but uh, honestly, this might be my last uh, mushroom trip of the year, at least for the summer mushrooms. I might try lower elevations for some oysters and some uh, some other things. And, and uh, you know, the, with the colder weather, you, you'll see the uh, Flamulina, Flamulina, Lamulina vilipides? Yes, those will start popping up. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> he knows with Latin, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, I always have a hard time saying these words, but um, but those, you know, those will pop up in the winter. But anyway, we had a lot of fun. Did you guys have, have fun with this? That was it's fun. It's gorgeous. It was gorgeous adventure. out here. The leaves are changing, and we had, it's a fun day. No we passed what. by most of the mushrooms. They were gorgeous, though. <laughs> yeah. There's still a lot of rosolas and other things out, but most of them were super dry. Mm. So I think that we're um, supposed to have some cold weather blowing in. Sarah's saying that it's probably even Tomorrow. supposed to snow. Yeah. Yeah. It's snow here. So, so this is. a good year. Yeah. So this is probably my, uh, certainly my last high elevation hunt for this year. But anyway, thanks again for watching this episode. And uh, leave your, uh, com uh, leave comments, questions. If you have things you want me to address or talk about, just uh, ask in the comments. And make sure you like and subscribe. Definitely. Do. He's thank good. Thank you, Blaine, for all your Thank you very much. Your help. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad you guys had enjoyed today. Thank you for coming. Yeah. It's always so much funner to be out hunting with good people. <laughs> thank you.